Formed in 1977 by guitarist Greg Ginn, Black Flag was the definitive Los Angeles hardcore punk band. With a ferocious sound and endless touring, the band inspired nearly every post-punk band that followed in their wake. Led by frontman Henry Rollins, the band released their first full-length album, Damage, in 1981. The record included the cult hit, TV Party. Following up on their early success, the band released an astounding seven albums between 1983 and 1985. But by the late 80s, with alternative rock and new wave taking over the charts, Black Flag decided they had enough. So where are they now? We uh, have put out quite a few records, um, maybe a thousand or so. Guitarist Greg Ginn is busy running his two record labels. I just couldn't imagine just being a musician and kind of hanging out or, or whatever. I don't know what they do. You know, I uh, like to get up in the morning and, and work. When he's not putting out records, Greg is hosting his own internet radio show. I do a radio show. It's called ScrewRadio.com. We do a, a show called The Poindexter Stewart Show. He and Sean Combs had a fist fight. It wasn't three guys. It was just between the two of them, it's Stout and Combs. The other uh, two uh, stood by the door. As for lead singer Henry Rollins, he's still enjoying his time in the limelight. That's why I like to do a lot, you know, mainstream stuff. Like Jay Leno, let me on. Grammys, clear the way. Turn the lights up brighter so they can see my face. He's also become a movie star of sorts, appearing in films like Lost Highway and The Chase. I feel like a combination of Bruce Springsteen and Sylvester Stallone out there. I don't know whether I'd... Busting bad guys or signing autographs. Kind of like being a star. Movies for me are a low priority. I mean, I'm not an actor, which is readily apparent if you see anything I'm in. Nor am I all that enthused at hanging around on a set all day, hanging around with actors who are just some of the most utterly repellent people I've ever had the uh, agony of having to spend time with. You know, hey, how you doing? Hey, did I do hospitality well? I mean, did I? Did you believe it when I said hi? I mean, how was my my greeting? Was it good? Like his former bandmate Greg Ginn, Henry has also started his own record label. I've put out between Infinite Zero and my little CD label, I've put out over 40 CDs in the last two years. In 1995, Henry won a Grammy for Best Spoken Word album, Get in the Van, On the Road with Black Flag. A decade after the demise of Black Flag, Greg Ginn still appreciates the accomplishments of his old band. I think what Black Flag really accomplishes is mainly with individual, its impact on individuals that are really into the music. Thank you.